Good morning, children. Today I will be teaching you the chapter Air, lesson number seven, class four, science. Now, air. Air is all around us, but we cannot see air, we cannot taste air, even we cannot smell air. So, air is colorless, air is odorless, and air is tasteless. Now, air blows in different forms. The first one is wind, which the air which blows very soft and gently. We call it it as wind. Next, when the air blows little faster than the wind, we call it breeze. And the third one, that is storm. When the air blows very very fast and it breaks down or knocks down different things like trees or buildings or lamp posts, that is known as storm. Okay. Now next, you come to the properties of the air. Now there are different properties of air. You might have seen in the book. You, if you have gone through so properties of air air has weight now children how can you understand air has weight for example take two football okay one in one football you fill in air and in other football you just keep as it is don't fill in air now take a take up a weighing balance according in the book you will find see you just take out your book if uh, in the book you will see in a book, see, there is a measuring balance. In one measuring balance, you just keep the football which is not filled up with the air and the other you keep the football which is filled up with air. Now what will you find? You will find in the measuring balance in which there is no air filled up in the football, that football will, will rise up and the other one will be below. Why? Because air has weight. As this is having weight, so it will not rise up than this one. So it will be down and the other one, unfilled one will be up. So from this, we can prove that among these two balls, this one is heavier. So air has weight. Next you see, air takes up space. Air takes up space. How do we understand air takes up space? Now see children, if you take of two vessels okay or you take one vessel itself in that vessel you just fill up uh, the uh, vessel with water and after that just insert in a straight way one glass into it now when you uh, put that glass into the vessel you will find that in the vessel the glass will not try to move it very it will not be very easy to put the glass down and the water will not totally fill up the glass after some time, just tilt the glass a little bit. You will find that bubbles of air coming out because in the glass, the space was filled up with air. So it was not allowing the total water to get into the glass. So when you are tilting the glass, that time the water, a uh, little bit of that particular air is coming out of the glass and the water is rushing into the glass to fill it up. That means air takes up space and it is proven by this experiment. You can see uh, in the book it is also given uh, and you can try it at home yeah, too. Now the third one is it can be pushed into smaller space. Now it is very easy. You just take a balloon, fill it up with air and just press it. Try to press it up with your hand. When you press it up with your hand you will see that the size of the balloon will decrease and that is known as compressed air that means you are pressing the air into smaller space that means you are compressing it the, it becomes compressed air okay so air can also be compressed or pushed into a smaller space and the third one is air exerts pressure now air exerts pressure air exerts pressure in different direction it can exert pressure either in upward direction it can exert pressure in the uh, downward direction for example you take a glass filled up with water and after filling it up you just put cover the glass with a cardboard for example i can just uh, show you just to have a look over here see children you just have a look here a glass you totally fill it up with water and just cover it up with a cardboard after that, just tilt the glass 
and you will find you will notice that the cardboard will be as it is and it will not fall off and it will not and the water will not come out why because there is air which is giving a pressure in the upward direction so as the air is giving pressure in the upward direction see the arrows the air is giving pressure in the upward direction so the card as it is getting the pressure from the downward it will not fall off okay and it will stay as it is so by uh, doing the small experiment you can understand the air exerts pressure not only this when the uh, people in the when they use a parachute and they fly off in the air that is also with the help of air pressure when the air pressure is moving them upward the parachute flies up and when the air pressure is low and it pushing it pushes it in the downward direction the parachute gets landed up on the land so these are the small small examples uh, by which you can prove that air has air exerts pressure so you just remember the points children just remember the points properties of air is air has weight air takes up space air can be pushed into a smaller space that means you can compress it and air exerts pressure so these are the properties and thus we performing the following experiments if you, you can even follow if these are very, very small experiments so you can even try it at home and you will be very much you know knowledgeable about this particular properties now let's come to the composition of air now what is air made up of now air is you know there is a blanket of air that is surrounding us and that is known as atmosphere so the atmosphere the particular blanket of air that is the atmosphere which is surrounding us it is a mixture of gases okay the blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere now atmosphere is nothing but it is a mixture of gases it is a mixture of gases along with water vapor along with dust particles and etc now water vapor means humidity it is present in the air in the form of humidity now the amount of water vapor at a given place and at a given time is known as humidity suppose if you are now staying in purulia so you find that there is heavy moisture in the air moisture in the air means there is a heaviness in the air due to the presence of more and more water vapor so the presence of more water vapor in a place at a given time is known as humidity and the gases that is present in the air that is the two main ga gases that is present in the air are oxygen which is 21% and it is helpful for breathing and burning next is nitrogen it is present in 78% and it is helpful for plant growth so that is plant require this nitrogen in more and more quantities for their growth and the third one is carbon dioxide and the other gases like helium and argon and uh, etc in one person okay and carbon dioxide even though it is present in one person but still it is very important or essential gas in the environment because it helps in photosynthesis now what do you mean by photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process by which the green plants prepare their food you know that the green plants prepare their food so green plants in the presence of the sunlight in the presence of the sunlight carbon dioxide and chlorophyll chlorophyll means the green pigment of the leaves what do they do they generally prepare their food in the form of carbohydrate that is glucose okay that process is known as photosynthesis and as a bright product it just leaves out the oxygen which we human require or the all living things require for breathing i'll come to that in the next part now see the chart you'll understand this 21% is covered up with oxygen 78% with nitrogen and 1% with the carbon dioxide and certain other gases like argon helium etc okay now what is breathing now breathing involves generally two two processes okay now one process is inhalation 
and exhalation now what do you mean by inhalation and exhalation inhalation means taking in air and exhalation means giving out air that means when you breathe in air that is known as inhalation okay and when you give out air that means give out carbon dioxide that is this known as exhalation so when you take in air you will find in an experiment how do you find that inhalation and exhalation both work together suppose when you are inhaling oxygen that means inhaling air you will find your chest moves upward okay and when you exhale air that time your chest move downward this upward downward movement proves inhalation exhalation both both goes together okay now next is respiration now what is respiration respiration is the burning of the digested food present in the body which converts it into energy and carbon dioxide okay now generally when you inhale the oxygen oxygen it goes inside our body and that particular oxygen when goes inside our body it helps to burn burn the digested food present in the body and from the burning we get energy we get energy to do our work and the carbon dioxide that is produced in the form of the by product that is given out in the exhalation process and that carbon dioxide is given out in the atmosphere which is taken up by the plants for photosynthesis but over here so the in a short i can you can say that the process in which you know the inhaled oxygen in the air helps the digested food to burn and produce energy and carbon dioxide is known as respiration so please don't uh, have a you know uh, just don't get mixed up with the word breathing and respiration breathing is just the process which involves two process that is inhalation and exhalation and respiration is the burning of the digest uh, digested food to produce energy and carbon dioxide okay so in both the terms you should know the difference very well now next you come to the process air pollution now what do you mean by air pollution we all know that mixing of the unwanted and the undesirable substances causes air pollution so whenever the air is mixed up with the undesirable and the unwanted substances it is known as air pollution that means it is not you know uh, any more uh, good for consumption for us consumption means to for the intake it is not good for intake okay means if if you uh, take up that particular polluted air you will become sick so how is the air polluted air is polluted by the presence of the air pollutants please have a you know please follow this term air pollutants so what is air pollutant air pollutants are nothing but the smoke which are coming out from the vehicles and the fumes from the factories also the dust present in the environment and also the burning of the garbages and different things in the environment which causes air pollution okay now when you take up this polluted air you can go through you, you know you can have various diseases like respiratory diseases severe uh, respiratory diseases like asthma you know asthma is nothing but it is a kind of a disease in which your uh, breathing troubles causes due to the accumulation of mucus in the you know in, in the tubes of the respiratory channel now next is bronchitis bronchitis also is a particular disease where you have say, uh, tremendous breathing trouble and it is also caused due to air pollution and the, you can have severe other respiratory diseases also and along with you can have skin diseases also skin diseases means you can have allergies or eruption on the surface of your skin you can see the redness or itchiness or some rashes coming out of the skin you know and then you can see air gets more and more polluted during the winter season because of the smog now what is the term smog smog means mixing of a fog okay the fog means what the clouds of the droplets uh, which gets accumulated droplets of uh, small water droplets of clouds of small water droplets which is generally accumulated in the sub, uh, in the air just above the earth surface and when it gets up with the smoke present in the air so mixing up both the things that means mixing up a fog and the smoke together makes smoke which makes very blurry uh, environment it is very difficult situation for the 
person who are riding the vehicles because they cannot see the you know different things they cannot see through because it becomes so blurry environment they cannot see through it is very difficult for them to uh, have a proper visualization so they have a uh, they might have accident so that time many time it happens that we should not we should not even go out to have a you know uh, ride with a bicycle or a car or a bus anything uh, so that there might be accidents due to the less visibility of the environment and also you can see that there is a very very you know uh, you will find very much breathing trouble in that those kind of area because it becomes so uh, the air becomes so heavy with the polluted things that it becomes very difficult for us to breathe a few days back you might have seen or you might have uh, noticed uh, the news in the which have given that Delhi the air due to air pollution the uh, environment become totally uh, you know filled up with the smog and polluted air so the environment become totally blur you know there was less visibility and people were just suffering in the home getting suffocated not even able to breathe so these are the causes which causes air pollution and generally we find that the problems arising from it now children this is a very short description of the chapter that i have given to you but the following the small explanation i know you are not getting the proper explanation whatever how you are getting it in the class environment but still try to cope up with it and please follow up the things that is given in the, that will be uploaded in your school website like exercises question answers is provided will be provided along with the exercise uh, answers extra questions and some important terms you have to learn other than that please read the whole chapter thoroughly once again i'm saying read the whole chapter thoroughly even if you get questions extra questions inside questions or you know um, one word answer fill in the blanks whatever you get you will be able to do if you read the whole chapter thoroughly please read all the points to remember given just in uh, before the exercises to start and also all the facts that are given in different colors or boxes in the chapter so go through everything learn the exercise question answers learn points to remember learn the learn the exercises given and do the extra questions you will be able to do the uh, chapter very well and give your exams very well and i think that um, extra questions will help out to work properly so please whatever question answers exercises extra questions are given do that in the copy when the school reopens it will be checked and read the chapter any problem any query you may ask and stay home stay safe stay healthy thank you